Hey folks, AJ the CEO here and this is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's just like the normal installs that we go through but there's so much stuff that's actually going to go into this. So it's, it's almost like take a bunch of videos that we've done and then all combine them and that's what we're actually going to be doing here at Community Independent Methodist Church. So we got a bunch of stuff that's actually going to be installed there at this church and um it's going to take a minute because i am heading out of town but what i want to do is walk through each phase at a time so we're doing security cameras we're doing access points we're doing networking we're doing cable runs we're doing ptz setups we're doing um a ori um video distribution box as well too so we got a lot of interesting stuff we're going to be hanging uh, a ceiling mounted camera um i mean not a ceiling mounted camera but a ceiling ceiling if i can speak mounted tv that's going to be interesting with this ceiling mount um mount <laughs> that is never done one of those really think this is cool i wanted to put one of these in my media booth um, but you never know. Um, so this is going to be a very, very big project. Um, I don't think it's going to... I was getting ready to fall for the trap and say something I didn't mean to say. But we're going to go through a bunch of this stuff. And it might be a rehash of some other stuff that we've done. But hey, that's what we do. We're helping modernize media ministries. And that's what this is. So we're going to start mainly with the Ori. And we're going to do a breakdown on a lot of the stuff so we're going to be doing this in phases and i'm going to put this in the um in a playlist so you know everything we've done we've already done the walkthrough we've already done the design i'm going to put that as the beginning of the playlist so if you want to know what we're doing you can check that out and it talks about everything that we suggested the design what's going to be installed all that other cool stuff um but yeah I'm really excited. I need to make sure I stay in the light. I'm really excited. And let's go to item number one. Um, and I will, like I said, I'll have these as breakout videos for certain stuff. But we're going to walk through. Um, well, let me just give you a high level. The first thing we need to do is I'm waiting for the rack for the networking equipment. Because we got two um, switches. We have the UDM Pro right here because it's going to handle the network and the security cameras and stuff like that we have four unified g4 um, similar to the ones that we just installed at a church in charlottesville we got four of those bullet cameras but we also have two of the g4 dome cameras this is going to be for interior cameras um, actually all the cameras are going to be interior we're not putting any cameras outside they're going to be covering every single door um, on the inside of the building um, we have a hundred feet of fiber optic cable. That's what's going to bridge this. I think I just made a mistake. Yeah, I did. I don't need the fiber optic cable because we changed our. Um, we were going to get the Unify rack mounted 16 port POE switch. But that one was back ordered and the newer 16 port PoE switch was available and this one doesn't have um, SFP connections. So the all of this stuff here for the um, using the FFP ports and the fiber optic cable is no longer needed. Yeah. Oh well. I know we'll use this for something else. So I'm going to set this aside. And this is not being needed right now this probably i can return because i still got that in the cable um but the these f sfps i'll use that for something else um i had i just i just thought about that so yeah this is the new 16 port switch that i was actually thinking that poe switch i was actually thinking about getting here from my apartment but i ended up going with the rack mounted 24 port um, and that frees up a lot of the switches I don't need anymore. So this is going to reside inside of the media booth. So all of the PTZ cameras are PoE. It's going to be powered by this. So to turn everything off, we're just going to turn this off, um, which will well, actually we're going to kill all the power in the entire rack 
because that stuff doesn't need to be on if nobody's in the sanctuary. So that's going to kill the power to the computers, network, everything, access point inside the sanctuary, possibly. Um, I don't know. We got to think about that. Yeah, the access point, we're actually going to run all the way back to the main. So, yeah, we can kill all the power here for the switch and everything that's going inside that rack. And that'll save power. So, what we need to do is set up our network for guest Wi-Fi. Set up the regular network for all the other devices. Set up network, possibly, just for the cameras. The PTZ cameras to go inside the, um, the network. Well, actually, no. Yeah, because we're not we're using S, um, SDI cable for everything back. Anyway, that's good. And then, um, like I said, Ori has sent me this matrix that will power the video distribution. So again, thank you, Ori, for that. Um, we're going to do a standalone video when we're reviewing that product. Um, yeah, what else? Oh, yeah, the a, they're going with a traditional ATEM Television Studio HD, not a mini. So that's why we have our a live streaming PC right there on the floor that we just built them. That was the one recently that I got the parts for when we went up to Baltimore and we went to uh, Micro Center. So that's what that is. Um, and we got the Decklink mini recorder from Spring Creek that they were no longer using after we I sold them, um, well, made an exchange for the ATEM Mini Extreme for their ATEM Mini Pro and a couple of cards and then the ATEM Mini Pro <laughs> I gave to um, St. Matthew's when we were in California. So hey, we're, 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 we're spreading the wealth to other ministries. So that's gonna be connected to the, the ATEM um, television studio is gonna be here Tuesday. So that part will be fixed. The software is already installed on it. It's a typical live streaming system that we've been building. So that's already been set up. It's gonna handle the live stream. But the ATEM is going to handle um, everything. They have five PTZs that are going to be installed. Um, two on either side, one in the back, one in the front. And then another one is going to be near the baptismal area because that's the one where they had a massive mirror because of the choir loft is blocking it. We're going to put that there so that everybody can see what's going on. Um, a TV is going to go into the fellowship hall. Another 65 is going to be hanging from that mount. That's going to be for the pulpit and for the choir. And then two 75s on either side of the sanctuary for the congregation. Um, access point in the center of the sanctuary for there. And then another access point in the fellowship hall. And that will cover the entire building. We're using Unify um, Nano HDs, which would be more than enough for that. Um, yeah, so really excited. So let's start with uh, item number one and we will go from there.